Hi, and welcome to Total Health Channel. Thank you for being with us from time to time. Let's ask God's blessing on our time together as we bow. Heavenly Father, thank you for this uh, day and opportunities. Thank you for the light of Scripture and truth, helping us to see where we are in the stream of time. We ask for your Holy Spirit uh, to do exceeding abundantly for Christ's sake in this message. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, the title of this talk is uh, How to Find Jesuits in the uh, SDA Leadership. And uh, I happen to have been a graduate of Washington Missionary College, which goes back uh, many years, currently called Washington Adventist University. But uh, around the uh, 1940s, when I was born, uh, B.G. Wilkinson was president of the college, and uh, he discovered a Jesuit in his Bible department. He had had complaints about it, and uh, uh, looked at the, his mail coming from downtown, and he steamed the envelope open to discover uh, uh, the, his Bible teacher was a Jesuit receiving orders from downtown. So he fired him, and uh, the, that was that. But the point is, in the last 70 years, I don't know of any Jesuits who have been discovered or fired, and do we think they just gave up? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't. You know, we we are naive if we think so. And uh, clearly, uh, there have been things happening since then. I'll give you a little history as an example. Uh, when uh, President Truman, after World War II, was asked to uh, appoint an ambassador to the Vatican, there was so much protest that he could not do it. Because uh, in World War II, the papacy was on the side of uh, Hitler. Uh, they signed a, the Pope had signed a concordat with uh, Hitler to make the world Catholic when he won the war. That's why Italy and, and Spain, also Catholic, joined on Hitler's side. So uh, huge defeat for the papacy. They've bet on the wrong uh, thing many times. But uh, specifically, uh, the, their new agenda uh, is the UN, by the way, and we'll get to that a little later. The point is that uh, Truman could not appoint an ambassador to the papacy, but after President Reagan took a bullet, and uh, you know, a deadly wound. Uh, he decided he would go along with them, so he appointed an ambassador. Also agreed to open the borders, uh, uh, southern border. So uh, we've had millions of Catholics streaming into this country over the decades since uh, the early uh, 1980s. Well, uh, and sadly, the point is that our church made no protest under Neil Wilson. Uh, nothing said about it. Uh, he did say that he relegated uh, the anti-popery to the uh, 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 trash heap of history in the 1800s when other Protestants were also against the papacy. Well, uh, I think that was a bad statement. And, uh, you know, you, I don't want to be so dogmatic. Somebody said, don't be so dogmatic. Let people decide for themselves. So I'll throw that out. Isn't that a bad thing? Shouldn't we be Protestants? Protest? Uh, I think so. And... Uh, uh, sadly, his son, uh, also when the, the abomination, Christ's words in Matthew 24, actually, I like Mark 13, verse 14 better, when you see the abomination standing where it ought not. Well, the Pope represents the mother of abominations in Re Revelation 17, verse 5, and <clears throat> the Pope was standing where he ought not in U.S. Congress in 2015, and yet nothing was said about it from our church. And uh, I think, tragic mistake again, strike two, uh, and three strikes were out. I think that uh, the Pope is now calling for a, uh, a world uh, meeting in Rome of leaders, world leaders, to sign a pact for Laudato Si and global warming. And we're hearing how, uh, even in Adventist circles, uh, uh, global warming is an important issue and so on. Well, I'm saying that, you know, uh, we can't help the weather, but uh, there is a little-known Pentagon project called HARP, H-A-A-R-P, High Altitude Aurora Research Program. It was the cover story of the popular uh, science magazine in uh, 1995, September issue. And it said that bad weather and hurricanes are coming. And since then, in the last 20, 25 years, we've seen it, you know, and... Uh, the, it, it's not the weather. The global warming was really 
Um, they measured it from 1880 to 1980, and only about a uh, one seventh of a degree of uh, temperature elevation per decade. You know, it, 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 in seven decades, it only raised one degree. You know, that's that's nothing compared to the bad weather that's coming as a result of this Pentagon project. Pentagon being CIA, and if you Google that, uh, Google Catholics in Action CIA. That's uh, their leadership is. Catholic. They um, have the hand signs, you know, whatever, whatever, so that they know who is who. And uh, Knights of Malta, Knights of Columbus, Opus Dei, uh, they, they know who they are and they favor those people to, for leadership. And uh, the point is, though, that the Pentagon is military. And if you can control your enemy's weather, you can control your enemy uh, if you can't grow crops and so on. And, and these uh, High Altitude Aurora Research Program, the HARP they call it, look at it on, on YouTube, uh, beams high energy from microwave towers into the ionosphere. It reflects into the ocean, heats up the ocean, and creates the uh, hurricanes. Uh, but they also believe that it can do other things like earthquakes. So, uh, you know, bad things are coming. Yes, we agree with that. But um, the point is that, that uh, the Pope is blaming the bad weather on the, the temperature, and if we just shut down business on Sunday, everybody can uh, get the blessings of the Eucharist. That is paragraph 237 of Laudato Si, and that's what people are going to Rome to sign, uh, uh, we're going to support Laudato Si. You know, well, I think, uh, you know, just like B.G. Wilkinson fired a Jesuit, any Adventist uh, leader that goes there, is, uh, should be fired, I think, because we're not in favor of Laudato Si and Sunday. Uh, uh, it's, that, that would be Jesuit. Uh, my opinion, uh, I I at least in heart, if not in uh, actuality. So uh, we need protest. We don't need Laudato Si. And, uh, uh, but well, I'm sure you're going to hear more about it because <laughs> it's coming next uh, May. Uh, so thank you very much for considering this. Uh, God bless you as you share it with others. Hey, I'm going to post a video link, not mine, but somebody really good. I, they said it well, and I'll post the link below here, and you can uh, share that with others as well. Thank you so much, and uh, bye for now.